Hey everybody, welcome to this video about our recent trip to the Bahamas in August of 2021. This video is meant to be a highlight reel of our experience at the Grand Hyatt Bahamar, and I hope it gives you a taste of what this resort has to offer, and maybe even help you decide if you would want to book a trip here in the future. Flight time down to NASA, just two hours and 38 minutes. Should be a pretty good ride overall, maybe a few months. Uh, bumps climbing down over here, but runs out the degrees out. We just kept the Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. And thanks for flying with us. Prior to your trip, you will need to apply for a travel health visa with the Bahamas, and our pro tip is to do your research on this in advance and stay up to date with the requirements, since they're subject to change at any time due to the pandemic. The official Bahamas travel website has a chart that clearly lists out the requirements and time frame for each part in the process. And I would recommend having printouts of all your documents with you, rather than relying on trying to show it on your phone. Thank you. Take care. We arranged to have car service transport us from the airport to the resort, and we requested to have a stop at the grocery store on the way there. I would definitely recommend Sandra's transportation since their driver was professional and everything went smoothly. The grocery store we went to was pretty big and had most essentials you would need. The prices overall were pretty high compared to prices in the US, as you can see here. The only items we picked up that were a bit more local were the Bahamian rum cakes from the local rum cake factory and a guava cake mix in a box. And here begins the iconic entrance footage that's in every YouTube video about Bahamar. We were fortunate enough to be given guest of honor status by a friend with globalist status in the World of Hyatt program, and after asking about any available upgrades at the front desk, we were upgraded to a suite with a fountain view. We were also given one drink voucher per person per day, along with complimentary breakfast each morning at the Three Tides restaurant. The service all around was very professional and cordial. Since the Bahamar Resort only opened a few years ago, everything still looked very new and pristine. The suite had a full kitchen, so you could potentially save on food costs by buying groceries and cooking food yourself. We didn't know about the suite upgrade in advance, so we didn't have that option. Plus, we wanted to check out the different restaurants in the resort anyway. We did use the pan and stove to heat up some leftovers one night though, which was our dinner one night. The bathrooms were pretty large, with both an overhead rain shower and handheld nozzle and both provided good water pressure. Here's the fountain view from the larger style balcony. We got to watch the nightly water shows while sitting on the balcony on the outdoor chairs, which is pretty awesome. The TVs were equipped with Chromecast plus HDMI ports in the wall. We went to Styx for our first meal, which is an Asian style restaurant. This was a good way for us to assess their quality of cooking, since we're used to eating all types of Asian cuisine. Again, the prices were pretty high. They even had bubble tea on the menu, so naturally I have to try it and share with you if it's worth it or not. I'd give it a 6.5 out of 10. It was better than expected, but not as good as what I'm used to in New York. This is the part where I'm supposed to go, mmm, oh my god, and nod my head, right? The dishes are all pretty large.
My wife and I actually had leftovers from this meal. Can you believe it? The two Starbucks in the resort offer a basic selection of drinks along with some pastry items. This is the standard room with two queen beds. The bathroom here is the same as the small bathroom in our suite. Here's the balcony with an oceanfront view. And also a peculiar view of a random exercise bike sitting outside for some reason. We love this large interactive touchscreen map to see the entire resort and explore the different areas and activities. By the way, Bahamar has a phone app that offers similar information in a smaller package. There's a little walking to do to get from place to place, but everything is only a few minutes apart. Masks were required indoors, but once you're outside and closer to the pool areas, masks aren't really a thing anymore. This jump was definitely scarier than it looks. I did it twice and I'm still shook. The poolside bars accepted our drink vouchers and we loved having the frozen slushy cocktails by the pool. The drift pool had waiter service, so we ordered some food and drink from our lounge chairs and the order was brought to us. Ah, the jazz bar. We spent most of our nights here after dinner since there was always live music playing. This spot seemed to be the hot spot after 8 p.m. every night. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Jazz Bar. Thank you so very much for joining us here on this beautiful Monday night. Yes, thank you. There were two acts that performed, but we especially enjoyed the Essence Band. The food there was also pretty decent, and we got to redeem our drink vouchers there as well. We noticed this fire show outside the jazz bar that appeared rather randomly at night, and it was definitely a really cool sight to see. The water show at night started at 8pm and would occur every half hour with different songs. Some nights there would be shows every 10-15 to 15 minutes as well. <laughs> Alright. Here's the food section of the video. We ate at three tides every morning since our guest of honor status covered one breakfast meal each day. Basically, we got to order any one option off the menu, which would come with your choice of coffee, juice, or tea. I especially like the guava toast, shown here. All of the breakfast options were enough to fill you up, and it was interesting to try something new every day. I had to show you this exclusive bathroom at Three Tides. It's just so mesmerizing. We are now walking through the beautiful spa area in the resort, which looks super clean and well maintained. There are various beauty products and souvenirs you can purchase here as well. The reason we had to walk through the spa is to get to the fitness center, which is pretty well equipped. There's nobody else in there in this footage, but when we went there throughout the trip, there was never more than a handful of people inside. But I guess it may vary depending on the time of day. Another shot of a bathroom, this time in the spa area. Not every day you find yourself in such a luxurious resort that has a grand bathroom like this. The food trucks were interesting and offered more casual dining options to satisfy your hunger, 
during the day while you're hanging out by the beach or by the pools. By the way, if you like these hot sauces, you can find them for sale in one of the shops at the airport. Now, for some of the more standard restaurants you can find in the resort, the Swimming Pig was an American-style restaurant. Most of the food was good, but the salmon dish was literally one small piece of salmon. The conch fritters we ordered were very doughy and didn't have much actual conch, unfortunately. My wife and I were really excited to try this restaurant by Marcus Samuelson, who we know from watching Food Network and Chopped. Getting a reservation for these restaurants can be difficult, including at Marcus, but walk-in seating is usually not a problem. The section of the restaurant is actually the bar and lounge section, which offers a different menu with more limited options. It was perfect since we were craving a burger and fries, which isn't offered on the standard menu. This cornbread with the rum butter was absolutely delicious. And my goodness, this was truly the best burger I've ever eaten. You can tell how meticulous Chef Marcus is in every aspect of this restaurant. For dessert, we went with the sugar donuts, which came with vanilla ice cream, fruit, chocolate sauce, and caramel. My wife got the key lime pie with fruit and sorbet. Here we have Filia, an upscale restaurant serving Italian cuisine. The outdoor seating area was large, but since it was a slightly humid day, we decided to sit inside. Again, portions were large and the quality of the cooking was top notch. Arna was the steakhouse option in the resort, right next to the casino floor, just like Filia. We expected to have to drop big bucks on this meal, but I'm glad to report that it was well worth the money spent and we were not disappointed. This was one of the restaurants that said tap water was not offered and that we had to choose bottled or sparkling water instead. Not sure why, since other restaurants did offer tap water. Every dish at Carno was elevated and felt exquisite, and the steaks we ordered were all dry-aged meats. We decided to order one of each type of dry-aged steak offered on the menu. Here's a shot of the casino during the daytime. And my lovely wife. We did have a bit of luck at the penny slots, which I must say was an interestingly exhilarating experience to see the numbers go up. It's all thanks to hitting the bonus round. We didn't get the Tri Pizza Lab, but here is some footage of the food there. We didn't feel so bad about skipping this, since we all know the best pizza is in New York City, right? Just kidding. We got to check out the Sea Life Penning Experience, which had a moderate price tag that wasn't astronomical. We got to see some shark, stingray, and turtle feedings, and also get to touch some starfish, conch, sea urchins, and some other creatures.
The Flamingo Parade was eye-opening and we got to literally be right next to them in person. There were also some outdoor sports to enjoy that were mostly complimentary. And here's a wild gecko, or as my wife called it, a geico. Welcome to the pools and water park section of this video. Starting from the most entry level, we have the children friendly slides and shallow pool areas at Turtle Beach. There's enough variety and open area for kids to run around and have a great time. At Stingray Cove, we have a mix of activities that are appropriate for young kids all the way up to adults. There are slides of varying intensity, water dump buckets, water guns, water fountains, and just overall variety of fun things to do for all ages. The purple and pink slides were honestly some of my favorite slides in the entire park because of the quick turns, even though they may not be as elaborate as some of the other slides in the park. The rides in the Baja Bay Water Park just opened in July of this year, and coupled with the limited capacity of guests in the park, we could basically go on every ride over and over again with no wait time. All right. definitely suggest going on this ride with as many people as possible since the added weight helps you travel much higher and much faster. There was a wave pool, as well as some slides that sneak around and end in your choice of a higher or lower drop into the deeper water. And here we have arguably the most intense rides at Baja Bay at this time. For you, YouTube. The Devil's Backbone and the Thunderball. I'll let you decide how intense you think this is. I will say that I'm glad I went on both of these rides and overcame my fears. I can't believe they play a sound clip of a rapid heartbeat just to mess with you before you plunge. Three, two, one, launch! If you aren't into the more intense water rides at Baja Bay, you can experience various complimentary water sports at your own leisure, such as paddleboarding and kayaking. 
There were also jet ski rentals available for an added cost. It did rain for part of one of the days that we were there, but generally it was sunny weather in the 80s with moderate humidity every day. Guests are required to have a negative COVID test result within three days of departure if your trip is five nights or longer, but the testing is included in your hotel fee, and the testing site is conveniently located inside the hotel. We got our results by email the next day. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got to experience the Bahamas and Bahamar through this video. We had a blast on this trip and would definitely recommend it if you have the budget and like what this resort has to offer. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, post a comment and let me know your thoughts. Bye.